Okay guys, so here's a video that I've been wanting to make for some time since we got back from evacuation for people that don't know what happened here. Uh, fire started, it ended up getting to about 60 hectares, uh, numerous houses burned down. I'm not sure what the, the count is. It's got to be close to 100, maybe even more, I, I don't know. but. Uh, a lot of people can't get around as freely as I can because I'm riding this thing and I'm gonna take you guys to all the different lookouts that I know of and kind of give you a bird's eye view of what what it looks like now and uh, the different locations that got hit the worst and even if you're not a dirt bike fan or you know you care less about them you can fast forward the dirt bike sections i'm i'm not going to put too much in there just kind of like the entrances into the the lookout areas and kind of that kind of thing so really there's not gonna be that much dirt biking in this video i'm gonna actually there's one mountain that i really want to try to get to the top of and that's sugarloaf mountain um also so just for a geographical idea of where we're at this is uh a little bit north of Kelowna, closer to Vernon on the backside of the Okanagan Lake, that area. So it's Vernon, BC, and I'm leaving here from the cattle guard at the end of Evergreen Way. And I have this cool app that, come on out. What happened here? app that I'm going to be using today and it's called all trails and it'll basically map my whole route and then at the end I'll put a photo of that and you can kind of later see where I went and I'll also put a, a link and because you know you might be interested in downloading this app it's it's also has other people that have done the trails and they've put comments and I even was reading there's quite a bit of people that have hiked up to the top of Sugarloaf so it, it might be an interesting read for you anyways here we go I'm going to uh, start this and start this bike and I'm gonna head out I'm gonna go my first little lookout it's gonna just be up to the right here past the little water reservoir treatment deal they have there head down to that lookout and that'll be up above Waymont's Creek, which got hit pretty hard. We'll look down on that. And then up to the radio tower, there's uh, three lookouts up there that I can show you. Um, and over to the Killiney Valley of the Sun area where there's uh, there was a lookout. It was called Two Chairs. And I'm not sure. I'll imagine the chairs have burned up. But here we go. Here's a little water treatment thing, or I'm not sure if it's a reservoir or exactly what it is, but just on my way to my first little lookout, you can see the fire break that they've made. They must have brought some heavy equipment up here and they pretty much made a highway. It doesn't even look like the fire got in here too bad. This is one of the few fire lines that they made. They made a highway right through the bush. There's one that goes all the way from White Mats Creek to the O'Keefe Hole there. And then there's another one that goes up about Killeny and it goes to the old mine site near Valley of the Sun. Or just past Valley of the Sun actually. So it's quite a long well, let's see what we can see from here. Now, I believe that's Whiteman's Creek. Doesn't look so bad. 
In this area, it doesn't even look like it was really hit. Even like, it's funny though, I just said that and you look here, and here's the scorched tree. But anyways, we're gonna show you areas that got it a lot worse than this. So this is lookout number one and it's, I'm surprised to see how green it is up here. It won't be like that at some of the other sites I'm going to visit. So look at this area, completely scorched. And this just on our way up to the lookout. There's Sugarloaf, we're gonna get to the top of that later. But we're heading up there. Look at this. It's just a layer of dirt, of dust, that's actually like charred amber that it's ash, it's a layer of ash throughout this whole area. Yesterday, so this is over a month ago, yesterday we're up here, we see the stump on fire still. So there's roots and stuff that have burned right into the ground and a giant hole. <laughs> I'll show you some of those, too. They're easy to find, they're everywhere. There, there's one. So that, that used to be a tree. That's an old rotten stump, like one of those, that an amber fell on and burned, and it's burned right into the ground. It's like an ant colony where the roots I just found the old trail. Look at that. You can barely see anything because all the pine needles have covered all the trails. And before it, they were outlined with shrubbery and green leaves and stuff. And that's how you knew where to go. But that stuff's all gone now. So you'd find yourself lost in this stuff. Anyway, I'm sticking to the main road here. I'm just out by myself. I don't really want to get lost. All of these lookouts have nice little hill climbs to get to them. Like here's one. I hope I make it. You'll know where to go. Yeah. See, look at that. You can see a stump there. I had to climb this hill. Stump hole there. Another one there. It's a little gem. Oh, there's the radio tower. So we're just in behind the radio tower right now.
Let's have a look. So we're on the back side of the antenna. There's the lake. Coming across, you see where the fire just ripped through Sugarloaf. It really got a hit hard there. And down into the valley and up and look at that. Look at that one. That mountain. I don't know what it's called, but maybe it's part of Sugarloaf. And then here, nice and green. Just like that. Still, the fire was here. There was ambers hitting stuff. We got lucky. Let's go look at another another view, another level. Look at that hill I had to come up. what that is. Is it a radio tower or an antenna satellite thing? I don't know. Wait, wait, it's going to the other one. So I'm up in behind the one lookout and there's fire hoses. So the firemen were all the way up up here on top of the mountain and there are their burnt up hoses. Okay, so now this lookout looks down on West Shores Estates. There's the park. Lots of houses. Lots of loss, possible loss. The firefighters did a great job. They actually made a headquarters down there. There's a large gravel parking lot. So pretty much all of our residents got super lucky. There was no losses throughout here. Um, in the spring, they came up with a fellow buncher. This is before the fires and cleared a lot of the dead trees out, kind of spaced things out. And I think it helped a lot. Um, that and having the, the firefighters right there. What a beautiful day. Look at that view. Look at that, look at the lake. So let me tell you, this is, um, this lookout is where the brap flag hangs. It, it's just over there. And it's named Two Trees. We named this one after one of my good friends, Troy, was following me and he went, I, I couldn't hear him anymore and lost sight of him and I turned back and here his bike had, he was completely pinned between a tree that was split like this, we call it the two tree, and boom, he went in there and did some substantial damage to his body. So that's where it's got its name, other people call it the Brap lookout but i'm going to take you to the best lookout since nobody's named it yet and we go there quite often and there's no name for it but it's actually the best lookout okay so we're going to name that right now and it's got a great hill to get to it it's a dirt bike single track hill so i'm going to include that one in there I'm 
came on the entrance hill to the best lookout. Okay, so I'm going to actually video this part because this is just a great hill and and it comes up on the, the lookout so nicely. Okay. <laughs> And there you have it. This, this is the best lookout. I love this place. Look all the way to Swan Lake. That little peninsula thing even got burned. So again, I'm still in kind of the safety zone area where it wasn't too bad throughout here and then it's like as soon as you get over there past the radio tower on the other side it's just destruction there's a deep valley in there and a creek that runs through so maybe that played a role in stopping you winds were a huge dilemma in this fire and Supposedly, he was at one point traveling 80 meters per second. Was how fast the fire was encroaching on new ground. Pretty nutty. Okay, well. Oh, there used to be a house there. Behind Killany. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because, Near Valley of the Sun. Well, I don't think we've reached, I don't even think we're close to Valley of the Sun yet. But you leave the Harvath property and then there's the orchards. So the orchards are all on this side and we've just left the orchards. Look at that big hole. It's like it was dug there. Yeah. And there's just a stove standing here. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all survived. So someone dumped that. Yeah, perfect. In the middle of nowhere. Because it's not black. So that's been recently dumped. Because everything in here is black. Yeah. And they didn't want people riding through here. Oh! I know what that was. That was Blair. Because people were ripping by his place. So I'll bet you he brought that before this was bush. So if you put a hole in the road, that's it, right? But now there's no brush or bush. So oh, it's, can go around. yeah, kind of a fail, but whatever. <laughs> We're coming up to the two chairs look out here. And hey, maybe the chairs survive. Rusty 
Steel Trail. Good, two chairs survive. Oh, good. Good, I made it. I just want to do my little spiel. Oh. Ooh, look back there. Sure could see a lot more rock and stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas before you couldn't. Here's the trusty two chairs. This is another nice vantage point. One bolt. Not burned. Between Killiney and the Valley of the Sun, Valley of the Sun's right there. You're not killing, you're falling. Killing's over there. <laughs> and I'm gonna get to the top of that hump there, that's Sugarloaf. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today, but. It's going to be part of my video. Fire line they cut. Up above Killiney. Must have just took a big PA to be dead. Made a trip through here. like a war zone, like apocalyptic. Little holes. Not much left in here. Look at that. See what an air filter looks like after riding around out there. Pretty black. So I'm down here at the track. So that's where my maps, I went to all those lookouts and then I returned to here and I stopped it and saved it. So there's going to be a part two to those maps, to that route if you wanted to do that route. I can't guarantee you can get there on whatever machine you're on. Most, probably do it with a dirt bike. But uh, here we go. So I'm gonna go from here. Look, screen shut off. And go right from here. And I'm gonna try to get up Sugarloaf. <laughs> the bottom of Sugarloaf, down the White Man's Creek, there's the creek down there, the valley, so I'm about halfway on your way from the dirt bike area, transfer station, down to the bridge, there's a, a small bridge down there, so that's about where I am, if you if you went uh, 90 degrees to that creek. So anyways, the, I haven't been on this trail for a long time, long before it was burnt out even. So it was almost impossible. I went with a really good rider. My neighbor's an awesome rider, Riley. 
and we had to jump logs that were up in the air. We had to put rocks to hit the rock to jump the logs. So it might be easier now because I could pick through it because there's no more bush. So it might be easier, might be harder, but I'm gonna video the whole thing because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs>